live unboxing. Hi everyone, Sabrina here with February's Fairy Loot unboxing video, which has literally arrived like three hours ago. Um, I have been painting all morning, so this is as live as you're going to get. So if there's paint in my hair, yay. I've got my scissors, try not to stab myself. It's always fun with scissors. Here we go. Okay, so I kind of wish I could angle that way. Looking very nicely packed this month. New spoilers. We have our spoiler card on the top. This is uh, To the Moon and Back, which is, of course, we all know what the box, um, no, we all know what the book's going to be even. Yeah, don't look at that because it's spoilers. Oh, I've got socks. They are cool. Starless Sea. Is that Starless Sea socks? They are gorgeous. Look at those. Okay, they're the little ankle ones. I prefer them a bit longer. They're so cool. And I do need new socks. Who are the socks by? Can I look on this without? Here we go. Designed by Jess Hawk, based on the Starless Sea by Erin Morganston. Not read that one. Not going to read that one, but I love the socks. Oh, this one rattles. There's obviously a Crescent City. It says pendant, so there's a chain in here. Oh, that's rather nice. There we go. Sorry, I'm showing you a lot. There we go. Oh, pretty. Very simple. I think if I turn it over, yeah, there's, um, it says on the other side, Crescent City. I don't think you can see that. There you go. Okay. Um, regular followers of me on Instagram will know that I've really struggled to get into Crescent City and I'm not going to bother with it anymore, but that's a really nice necklace. Pendant necklace, honestly. Um, it's been signed by the team at Fairy Loot. So again, obviously inspired by the book by Sarah J Mass. There's a, oh, is that a tote? I think we've got a tote, people. Oh, this is colourful. Wow. Oh, is that cool? Is it the same on both sides? Yes, it's the same on both sides. Hold on, let me move the handles. Ta-da. Oh, that's nice. I'm not going to lose that. So, oh, it's a proper open. It's got a wider bottom. It's not just a skinny little one. It's a proper wide one. That's really nice. I like that. Um, wicked, no, that's something else. Moon Goddess Tote Bag, designed by Rosie Thorns 88. Uh, it's inspired by the book in the box, so we definitely know what the book is, people. There we go, Isn't that lovely. Oh, we've got, oh, we got bookends, we've got some more bookends, people. Oh, if I keep the, can you see that? There you go, there. God, they're heavy. <laughs> Really heavy. These are moon bookends. Ah, yes, there's the sun at the bottom, moon at the top, and all the clouds and that in the middle with the stars. That's really, really pretty. Put them over there. Uh, celestial bookends. I just want to say that in David Tennant's voice, actually. Celestial harmonies. Sorry. Uh, designed by Jess Hawk. There we go. They're very cool. How are we doing? Lift up the box. There we go. We've got an art print. This is, of course, from Wicked Fox, which I loved so much. And the art print is designed by CYT underscore draws, which is lovely. The book is by Kat Cho. I can't remember that, but yeah, I love Wicked Fox. You need to read this book. Ooh. Ooh, it's a big book. And then we've got... Oh, these are our last... Um, tarot cards. So we have the King of Pentacles and the Queen of Pentacles. There you go, you can admire the artwork. They are the same size, honest. There we are. And they are designed by Lizzie Art underscore Zodoniex and the feature Mustang and Darrow from Red Rising series, which is, is on my TBR, honest, I promise. So, oh, there's not much brown stuff in the box this time. Let's put that down there. So, here's the book bag. That's quite big. There we are. Ooh. <gasps> Trying to get into it. Clipping the edges. There we go. So we have in the bag bookmark. I do love these bookmarks. Fairy scoop. I'll look at that in a minute. Oh, look at that. Look at the artwork on that, isn't that gorgeous? That is the artwork on the back of the letter from the author. Which is there. Okay, that 
actually so gorgeous. And of course, the book this month is Daughter of the Moon Goddess by Sue Lin Tan. This book has been everywhere. This book has been taunting me every time I walk into Waterstones. I just want to buy it. And look, we've got like a dark blue edition. And you know, I might have to go into Waterstones. Oh, so look at the edges, look at the edges. <laughs> oh, they're pretty. But yeah, I might go into Waterstones and just buy their pink version as well, because that's so pretty. Isn't that gorgeous? Hold on, what else have we got in here? <gasps> end pages oh this is so nice and foiling flipping it so there is no art on the inside of the jacket but look we have gorgeous foiling so these are obviously the main characters from the book as i've said the stenciled sprite edges we've got oh they are illustrated end pages oh it's different at the back as well you have to check both ends now these days they are gorgeous and this edition is signed as well by Sue Lin there we go this is gorgeous this book has been around for a month now so if you don't know anything about this then where have you been this book is everywhere at the moment but it's based on the Chinese legend of moon goddess and this story follows her daughter. So pretty. I'll try and be really, really careful. This is so lovely. But yeah, I, this will be one of those books where I'm going to struggle to pronounce any characters' names because I'm rubbish at that sort of thing. So I'm going to have to go online and make sure I can pronounce these names properly in my head. But yeah, just inspired by the legend of Shang Li, the moon goddess captivating duet with Chinese mythology into a sweeping adventure of love and family, immortals and magic. I can't wait to read this book so, so much. Just look, look at those edges. Just, seriously. This is gorgeous. Oh yeah, that, that was worth waiting for so much. Um, Fairy Scoop inside obviously has interview with the author and the read-along when that happens, which apparently is March 21st. I'm gonna hopefully try and read this one before then. It'd be quite nice. Um, we've got other book releases coming out in March and yes, two of them on my to buy list already. And then March's box will be Threads of Fate. I think I already know what the book is for that one as well. And that's another one that's already on my to buy list. So I'm saving money at the moment, which I'm very, very happy with. So that was the February unboxing i know we've been waiting for a very long time for our fairy loot boxes lately january's was delayed but i can't believe how quickly they got fabries out so kudos to the guys for getting that sorted and out so so quickly particularly as this book's been out for a little while now we've all been waiting for it this this edition is lovely it's just lovely uh full stop oh yeah um what's your favorite item in the box let me know down below that's my youngest thundering down the stairs you can hear so go hello boy Hello. And um, as usual, you can find all my usual MacGuffins in the description box down below. Please check out the booktubers I link to because algorithms suck. And uh, as always, be happy, be safe, be thankful. Bye.